Welcome to Intro to AP Computer Science for a new AP teachers. This topic is math and variables. So let's go ahead and get started. So topics in this video are math operators, the order of operations, increment and decrement, combined assignment operators, and the math class. Again, this video is not to teach you how to do these things. You are assumed to know them, or if not, I have another set of videos that does explain these things in detail. It's just kind of an overview of the topics and maybe some things to think about as you're teaching it. So the first one is the math operators. So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Of course, point out to the students that multiplication is an asterisk. Uh, some students might not know where that's at in the keyboard. Uh, on mine, it's shift eight, uh, but on others, it might be in a different spot. And then that division is the, I guess that's the forward slash, I believe. Okay. Uh, and then the modulus, the percent sign. Again, students might not be familiar with that. Um, so you definitely want to go over some examples. So the one here on the screen is 5% uh, 3 or 5 modulus 3 uh, equals 2 because it gives you the remainder. 3 goes into 5 once and there is 2 left over. Um, also be sure to point out integer division. There are definitely questions, um, AP type multiple choice questions, that this will be a factor. Um, so 5 divided by 3 uh, equals one. So you ask the students, usually what I do is I say, well, what's five divided by three? And they'll say, well, it's 1.666666. And then I'll say, okay, well, let's try it, put it into Java, we'll run it, we get a one, then we talk about why that happens. Okay, um, so you have to tell, so the students realize that, okay, well, if I need that level of accuracy, if I need 0.666666, um, I'm gonna need to use a double data type in this case. And then this is super duper important as well. There are definitely going to be multiple choice questions about this subject, the order of operations. Now, most students should be familiar with this from their math classes, uh, but some may not be. Uh, in America, at least when I learned it, I learned uh, PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I actually do have an Aunt Sally. Uh, messaged her on Facebook the other day, as a matter of fact. My uh, British students uh, with British backgrounds, they use bid mass, and I think it means brackets, uh, indices, uh, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So basically, you know, the order of operations. We start with parentheses, then we do our exponents, then multiplication and division. Notice they're on one line. So if you have multiplication and division in one equation, you go from left to right. Okay, so that's why in bid mass, the D and the M are reversed, whereas in PEMDAS, it's M and D. Bid mass, it's D and M. And then finally, addition and subtraction uh, are at the end. And again, those are, if they're both, it's left to right. The actual order of operations in Java is very complex. Uh, if you take a look at my ebook, I talk a little bit more about that. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty involved. But this is, this is the major thing that most students will have to deal with. They don't really give you anything too much more complex than this. Next one is increment and decrement. So basically we're just talking about adding by one or subtracting by one. So in Java, we have X plus plus and we have X minus minus. Now I just chose X, of course, whatever integer that would be. Also works with doubles. Um, so this is what you'll see on the AP exam. This, this is called the post fix. Um, you also see, I tell the students because if they're Googling, if they're hitting Stack Overflow, they might see plus plus X or minus minus X. Um, I, again, the book has an example of why that's important, what the difference is. So, um, but the, the prefix one, plus plus X and minus minus X is not on the AP exam. So they don't have to worry about that one. So they'll only see X plus plus and X minus minus. Along with that is the combined assignment operators. So we could do X plus plus, we could do X equals X plus one, same thing. We could do X plus equals one. So we're combining the increment and the assignment into one symbol. By the same token, we have X minus equals two, X times equals three, X divided equals four, and X modulus equals five. So they can combine that those into one statement. I like to do that. It's it just makes your code a little bit shorter, maybe a little more clearer, but they are welcome to, you know, write out the longer version. There's no point penalty for that. They can just do it as they wish. And then finally in this section, uh, there's the math class, uh, which has some functions or some methods that we can use. 
Basically, the two big ones are math.pow, which is power. So notice that it takes a double, so 2.0 and 4.0. So that's the same as 2.0 raised to the 4.0 power. Um, so that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2.0 times 2.0, et cetera, et cetera. So that should give us a 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is uh, so that gives us 16. And then math.square root, for example, 25.0, that will give us, of course, 5.0. Now there are others, there's sine, cosine, tangent, uh, there is a math class method to convert uh, radians to degrees and degrees to radians. You may not need those, they're not on the AP, they're not part of that AP subsection. Um, but you know, students may find them useful for writing their own software to help them in their other classes. That's one of the things I try to get the students to think about is, well, okay, in your math class, could you use any of these functions to help you with your homework, for example? But don't tell the math teacher that. Uh, and then there's, there's a few constants, such as math.pi. Uh, notice the PI is capitalized. There's also math.e, which is uh, Euler's number, 2.7, blah, 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 whatever it is. Okay, so there is this built-in math class that helps you, obviously, with math functions. So, yeah, so that was our topics. Uh, we looked at the math operators, the order of operations, increment and decrement, combined assignment operators, and the math class. And then for an introductory exercise, one of the things after I talk about all these things I like to do is just ask the students to brainstorm a bunch of mathematical formulae uh, from their math and science classes. So they might come up with, you know, force equals mass times acceleration. They might come up with, um, you know, calculating the angle based on, you know, like sine, cosine, all that kind of stuff. I'm not that familiar with it myself. Uh, I think earlier in the, in the book, at least, there's a section about doing area. Um, so just kind of come up with different formulas that they would have used in a different class. And then in, you know, you can write those on the board, you know, what's the name of the formula. And then um, in pairs, I usually like to do the pairs uh, on paper, and I do this on paper, not, not on the computer. Um, write, have them write the, those, uh, yeah, write those formula in Java code and then they can share it. And then if there's a group that's done ahead of time, then I have them start coding it into the computer. This is a pattern that I do a lot, is we do it on paper, well, we, we talk about it, they do it on paper first, because they gotta get used to doing that for the AP exam, and then they do it on paper, then they do it into the computer, because that helps, I think, really cement the ideas. Uh, and they seem to like it, they seem to like working together, and honestly, at least at my school, we're on the computers far too much, and as, any chance I can to get them off the computer uh, is, is, is a good one. So that is that. I think I uh, did. I already did the uh, summary. So let me just skip past that, and we are at the end. Thanks for watching. Yeah, talk to you soon.